So your ancestors could be sending you messages right now. Get a message from your ancestors here. Yeah. Okay, let's 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 take the moment right now though. We're gonna get a message from the ancestors. Let me see what they say. We got caution and energy. So be cautious here. Power lines, traffic cones. So you guys could be traveling here somewhere. Hmm. Be cautious of your energy here. You're getting divine guidance towards your destiny. Yeah, we got clouds and distractions. Somebody tried to distract you from getting this good luck here, but something is changing. All right, maybe you are proceeding with caution here, or somebody is definitely being cautious now about the energy here. All right, what else? Perfect home. In the community, caution in the community, personal power. So somebody in your community, or this is a community of people here, bees, people, these people are being more cautious now, or they're being told to proceed with caution here because you're in your power, you're in your personal power, you're on your right path, you took your power back. What's this, what else? So transmute, transferring energy. Be careful who you come in contact with. Maybe you are destined to come in contact with someone here. Yeah, it was divine guidance here. They're leading you to something happy here. Because you re you surrendered here, or resilience, focus here, motivation. Okay, somebody could have been trying to like distract somebody with fun. Okay, it is um. Labor Day weekend, apparently. <laughs> I was just, uh, whatever. But don't get distracted here, okay, when it comes to something here. Because you're on your right path here, destiny here. You're on some sort of, you're being aligned for something right now. Okay, this is what we being aligned for, you know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can find it now. I found it and then I changed it and then I... Messed around there and went to it. And then, uh, let me see. Where am I at there? Let me see. I found it. There it is. Nope. There it is right there, there. All right. Come on, y'all. This is the realest word. Ever spoke. Ever spoke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The realest yeah. word ever spoke by Adam the Scott Jackson. It's my shit, man. I made 2008. This is the only song that I actually wrote besides the ones I write now. But, you know, this is the first song I wrote. You know what I'm saying? I sit down and wrote. That was when Michael Jackson was climbing in me after he passed away. Prince, you know what I'm saying? And Whitney Lord Houston. said to me. Lord said to me. Son of man. Son of man. Boy, you Boy, can you tell, can a, tell story. a story. You must, you first, must know first know the end of that the end story. Of that story. And he said, and to, he me, said to me. Before you can before tell, you tell my, story, my story, you must, you must first, first know, know your story. Your Adam. story. Because you the beginning. You know what I'm saying? I'm the end. You know. So this, so this, this right here, this right here, is God's story. You it's know, God's this the end story. right here. And uh, my story, my story, this Adam. You know, my story. little man. You know what I'm saying? My story, your story, your story. Our, our story. story, my story. When I was sugar from man, our father. I, from our father, Adam, who in heaven. Who art in heaven. Right now, you know what I'm saying? With all of us in it, man, and blessed are the years. And blessed are the years. Who are about and the to years hear. that are about to hear. The things, the things that you're about that to hear. Y'all about to hear, you know what I'm saying? And, and blessed, blessed are, the are the eyes who will be able to, will be see able to lock on this mirror the thing and call self God. That you're about to the see. things that you're about to see. Jesus said upon this Jesus rock. Said upon this rock 
I'm gonna build, build my, my church. church. He said, said upon, upon his word, word he will build, build his church. He said he, he said is, he the, is alpha the alpha and the omega. And omega. He was, he the, was high the high priest. He was, he the, was creator. the creator. God. That I may give you life. So when you speak God's word, who's speaking, man? Who's speaking? Who's speaking? You are. Because guess what? He is, I am, in y'all, man. You are me. Being used by me, God. God created man, mighty angels now, in my image. In my likeness, Adam's likeness, A T O M likeness. I said, let us make I man in our image after our likeness. So God created man in his own image. In the image, the image of God, he created he, God, him, man, Adam. Male and female, God created he, God, them, male and female and populated the world the whole you world for those who didn't get that god created god me and you he god. him adam god and him man. male and female he, god in created god image. them in male and life. female like i say and populated god the whole said, world and you receive image. god's word you speak you life. are me so yeah god you man you, 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 you when you speak my words in the image you of god. are me 
You are. I am. God. You know what I'm saying? And when I speak God's word, that shit, you know who I am. I'm me. I'm God. Because I and my father are one. I'm the word. I'm God's word. You know what I'm saying? I and my father are one. God created God. Are one. And 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 and, and, and when you are born again, so when you, receive God's word, you will be a new creature. You, you will be Adams. And you their name was Adam in the day yeah, when they you, were created. You, you will be sons and daughters of the Almighty God. From now on, when you say the Father, you are the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God. it should have a new meaning. Because God is the Father. And you are the sons and daughters. And the word of God tells us that he sent us to help us, the Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying? And God's word did not return until none of us void. Jesus did not go back to the right hand of the Father in everybody, void. I'm back in everybody now, just like I was then. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The wolf and the lamb, that's wolf and head, shall be one. All them days, Cali, you was marching up and down, Florida Smith and them church. All sin falls short of glory of God. He made Cali and this kind of race. The spirit is willing, but the flesh picks say, weak. You know what I'm saying? It's weak, man. It's weak. It'll let Jesus Satan possess it. You know what I'm saying? But not right now. You are no better now than Boy. let Satan possess you. Because sin is judging and accusing. <laughs> it ain't going to the club, smoking, drinking, and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Sin is judging and accusing. The wolf and the lamb. Man, that was good. Stuff. Shall be one. Also, I'm getting community destiny. Some sort of somebody could be trying to watch you, track you, see where you're going, which way you're going. So be cautious in your community here when it comes to energy or who you come in contact with. Make sure you're cleansing your energy. Somebody could have dirty energy here. This letter is to thank you. When, when we, we bought, bought the Fly You Home membership, I really didn't think about it being anything but a just-in-case kind of thing. We right, who you exchange your energy with, all right? Take that as it resonates, my love. Yeah, we got autumn and protection. So you have some sort of protection around you right now. Yeah, that's grounding you, okay? Autumn here. I heard earth magic, so you definitely are being very, yeah, you're in the cycle of grounding right now. So if your energy was all over the place here, also Reiki healer. That's what I just heard. Be cautious in the community when it comes to a Reiki healer. All right. Or this is what's coming towards somebody. Just pay attention to something. All right. Let's see. Let me see the thing. And who you exchange your energy with. What's the message for the collective? You need to know what y'all need to be aware of. What's the message for the collective? Wow. So we got fulfillment. The Ace of Cups. 
Okay. So you're about to get some sort of fulfillment here. Yeah. Okay. So your ancestors definitely are grounding you. I've seen the spirits and grounding. Wow. Prosperity. Invoking. Homecoming. So you could be about to receive something else. Okay. Ooh. Oh my goodness. We got your guardians around you here. Yeah. That's protecting you as you receive this. Yep. You got a spirit guide here that's protecting you as you receive something. What else? Ace of Cups. What else? Okay. We got cleansing and healer. Yeah, definitely. Cyclist. So, autumn for divine feminine at the bottom. So, hmm. So, you're in some sort of healing cycle here. Your energy is being clear, divine feminine here. This for me, I feel like we got love here. You're you're in this uh, flow of the Ace of Cups here, fulfillment right now. You're in a cycle of fulfillment. And there's a lot of healing and cleansing going on at this time for you, divine feminine. All right. Maybe you did some cleansing energy here. Okay. Water could be significant. I mean, we are in this full moon in a... Pisces, okay, for a healer. So this is definitely healing, you guys. Something is healing someone. All right, clearing the way for love, okay, the things that you love, divine feminine. It could be a divine feminine here. We got secrets here and stability, yeah. So the book of shadows here. So you're something about your stability is hidden in the spiritual realm, and somebody's awakened to that. Yeah. So somebody, okay, then that's crazy. So um, somebody could be trying to find out where you at, what you're doing, whatever in your community here. Somebody could be um, trying to find out where you, your destiny, where you are. Yeah, where you at, period. Something like that is going on. All right. So proceed with caution. Pay attention to your surroundings here. Okay. Nothing to like be afraid of, but just pay attention to your surroundings. Because hmm. right now you're in this energy of healing. Yeah. Someone could have been casting spells here to see things from a higher perspective. Okay. Maybe they were too low. So somebody's trying to cast something to see things from a higher perspective. Somebody, like, uh, in a dream state, like, I had checked in somewhere. I don't know where I went. But I couldn't find my room. So somebody can be trying to confuse you about where you are supposed to be. But you're being guided because a guide showed up and took me to the place. And somebody tried to close the door in my face. Somebody's trying to close a door. Okay. Somebody don't want you to get the answers to something. Okay. If you're looking for something right now, Divine Feminine, or trying to figure something out, somebody could be trying to close the door. All right. So, yeah. And something that was about, because the day before I did the reading and it was like, I was asking somebody, what's their name? They was doing everything and avoiding eye contact, everything. They wouldn't tell me their name. The next day was, what's your room number? So these are questions somebody is asking. So room number, location, right? But we going all we was all over the damn place, okay? Like they can't find somebody, okay? Somebody went the wrong way about getting an upgrade, okay, in their life in some way. Somebody could have did something here around the full moon to get an upgrade. They could be going through karma for that. Maybe they tried to take something from you. Okay, yep. My altercation could be breaking out. Yep, behind the scenes due to somebody codependency. How codependent somebody is on you. Okay, and your upgrades. Somebody's very codependent on your energy. Okay, so an altercation is breaking out behind the scenes because somebody could have been spreading rumors, thinking it was funny. Now they're at their breaking point because somebody you're you're very inspirational to someone. So somebody's finding out somebody was a liar here. This is somebody that's codependent on your money. This person was very addicted to getting a sell of like a good news about getting a job, hiring somebody here, or 
whatever this is, but you were very protective over your heart. Secrets are revealed here. Somebody actually appreciates you. So if somebody sent somebody towards you guys or some fuck shit, this person is, they, they appreciate you in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's at their breaking point because people are still seeing you, even though they're spreading rumors to cause altercations. Somebody is still seeing you as inspirational. People are still seeing you like that. Somebody's gonna have to comp want to compromise here because they overindulged in something. All right, they kept doing something to cause some sort of upheaval in their life while you were healing yourself or something like that. All right, what's going on? Yeah, somebody want to work with you, okay? Yeah, they could be about to bind somebody's family here. So if somebody want to work with you here, if a family, a group of people or a family try to bind you to something or do some weird shit, somebody is not working. Altercations is breaking out. That's why altercations breaking out. Holy Spirit, why is this? Okay, because somebody realizing it's a trap. This this was a collab. This collaboration was a trap here. Yeah. Somebody could be suffering right now due to a uh, enemy frustration. All right. They're frustrated because they were trying to reach their goals in this situation, but they're realizing something was uh illusion. This collaboration or somebody coming together with someone. Yeah, they they quit. Yeah, because you're getting good luck and fortune here. So somebody is no longer willing to work with somebody. Somebody realizing like, oh, you trapped me. Or you tried to get me trapped, third wheel, enemy here. Stop. If you're an auto, RV, or marine dealer wasting your valuable time sending out countless emails and text messages that never even get opened, let alone responded to, then it's time to stop exerting so much effort with nothing to show for it. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you a much better way. You're not imagining it. The effectiveness of irregular emails and text messages is waning and the number of messages your buyers are receiving is increasing. The truth is they are inundated with hundreds of messages every day that look and sound exactly the same. But we've created a free comprehensive playbook that shows you how you can use short, simple videos to radically different Somebody don't trust somebody right now. They realize they like something was a trick. And we got nightmares, suffering, nightmares, darkness here, okay? They quit, yeah. Somebody's no longer is rejecting somebody's support here because they have no evidence that there was any attachment, anything that was attached to you or something like that. Somebody could have been praying to curse you here. But they are maybe curse you with some sort of memories here or something like that. But maybe they remembering here something that's coming to their attention here about what they was wishing for. It's causing them lack of sleep. Yeah. Because they could be being controlled here or they was trying to control somebody's good news. A bully here. Somebody could have tried to bully somebody here. So somebody thought they be like this is weird. Like somebody really thought like they could do some weird shit to somebody, and this person is lacking sleep, and it's like they're not doing too good. Okay, whatever this is, rumors because something was a rumor. Altercation is breaking out because somebody could be having nightmares as well. An uh, enemy feels trapped. Okay, what is this rumor? Also, I seen somebody chasing a little baby. Like, it was weird. Like, somebody's trying to cross your paths is what I'm hearing as well. Mm. What is this rumor? The rumor about which who you are, your origin, your vitality here is causing conflict here. Differences. Maybe you're different than somebody else. 
and you got victory and success here and they could be feeling captive okay because somebody could have got injured or somebody feel like they're in danger here because they did they know something and they might want to confess like they wasn't trying to listen to somebody like somebody wasn't trying to listen now they're worried this person thought that they could do something to you but now somebody realizing it was some sort of rumor what was the rumor okay we got bride so somebody could have been spreading rumors here about your origin that you could bribe people to do things or somebody feels like they got bribed they could be mad as hell they feel like they should have saved their money yeah they thought they were being strategic but somebody's winding up falling ill they're at their breaking point breaking point why wow because somebody felt trapped they feel like stuck or unfree here wow wow because they're being controlled manipulated dominated domination here if you're a hyperpigmentation girly go listen up i used to be skeptical about finding a serum that could actually reduce the dark spots on my sensitive skin and even at my skin tone but after trying Lee's vino perfect serum i was blown away by the results and it's a must-have in my skincare routine They feel in danger here. Somebody feels like they're in danger of getting caught or going to jail. Somebody is scared. Why are they at the breaking point? Because something they, they're maybe they feel trapped in their mind. They want to ease their mind about something. The goal is for you to be overloaded here or feeling overwhelmed here about money and your work but something coming to an end because somebody realized that it was a lesson they're losing their own peace damn somebody lost their own peace by trying to hex or curse you damn with no peace and shit so something could have backfired on somebody you inspire you're very inspirational to someone you what are you inspiring someone? Somebody's a very inspirational to someone. You are very inspirational to someone. Self-esteem. Yeah, learning about self-esteem. So somebody that used to be in their pride and ego is learning a lesson from you. Yeah, and they feel sorry here. Yeah, because you have a lot of inner peace because you love yourself. And that's why they want to quit and support you instead. This is good news here. A bully could have had a natural disaster because of what they was wishing for or what they was praying to or what. Or this bully, this bullying you went through, you could have survived here. Somebody's praying for some sort of goodness here or that you see them in a better light here. This person was doing something out of their pride and ego. Mm. You're very inspirational to someone that's in your ego. See. You say you got real estate. Yeah, I can't there. make it up see, to loving themselves. And, uh, yeah, online community. Saving, collective. So online community here Let me see. could be like, could have saved a lot of money for a ritual or something or saved some money here to do a curse on you. Yeah, and it's like they're knowing why something isn't working because you, you're very inspirational oh, here. Your self-esteem is high. Okay. What's up, world? Yeah, inspirational here. Yeah, we got real estate here. Maybe somebody. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you thirsty? From talking to another yeah. brother. From speaking thirsty? the word of God. Are you thirsty? Oh. Oh, hell. You got daddy in the house. Oh, you are hungry. Come and eat. Come on, eat this meat. Yeah. Don't need no money. Oh, I got everything. Come on, now. Nah. 
let him to take care of us, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out, man. It's a real, real, major. That he ain't coming back. Uh-uh, the hell no. Did Check you say, up. blessed is he come in the name of the Lord? What? He's if you don't say my daddy's name, shall I say, then I can't come, man. Right? <laughs> Shit. And he ain't coming back. I'm going to say us. Shit. Take your heart on us. Blessed is he. Daddy, I got to be Adams in everybody. And Jesus say he ain't coming back to Adam until it hard you us. say blessed is he I'm not gonna say who this. comes in the name of the Lord. I'm so say if us. you don't know you Adam, then you in trouble. And if you don't know Adam, you, you he in ain't trouble. Coming back. Cause Jesus say he, he ain't coming in no fake Adam. Adam. You know what I'm saying? That don't like Adam. So you that means smoking cigarettes. If a man comes in drug again, in the drug game, try to find his way back. And, and the coming. word of God and came back to you with this word. Everybody right ain't gonna listen to him. The word of God. Not too many religious people. Are he smoking in the church? Cigarette. No. Are he he's got a bad habit. God God. He's a drug addict trying to find God's him. God's trying to bring him back. He's going to and the word of God and came back but to his head. But he's had it, got it. But everybody ain't gonna listen to him. But you know what? Not too many religious people. He's saying. No. But somebody else comes to him. But he's coming and he's quoting scriptures. He said, man, God, God bless you, Bring him back. He going to God. That word, he can say it because he humble. But this happy you know, guy. He's got a contract spirit. He a, you know he what? He's a humble man. He can say it. Blessed is he when somebody else come to him. In the name of the Lord, he can say it. To him. You know what I'm saying? He can say, man, God, who would love God him? bless you, man. And he's got to say, forgive me that word. Give him mercy. Yeah. He's yeah. going to yeah. come to him. Yeah. The word of God coming to him. Because they repent it. They say it. I'm sorry. Y'all that who don't know what repent means, Mr. Pueblo Dollar, he said don't he mean said, apologize. Who will love me the most? You don't apologize, you don't get the repent. Said, you don't those get who are the end. most. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need no money, he though. Said, you have All who are hungry, you come on in and get something to drink. All that something to eat. You don't understand, you don't need no money. But if you eating that junk food from Jake, Winston, or Dollar, you might not be hungry when you get your any prostitute, tax collection. You let you think ain't worthy. Club on No dealer is worthy. Because I ain't coming to call the right. I said, no. I my hell no. He said, I'm going to leave sinners that judge and accuse. Tax collection. And teach them and get that judge and accuse out of them. A man can be a a man can live a long time because right. he feel God. I told but a wicked man, he cannot throw it on his life because he fear is not God. He said, a man he ain't scared of God. He think God. He, 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 God. he, he don't, you know what I'm saying? He can have the same he fear. But he can't throw it on his life because he don't fear God. He say he but God. a wicked man, what? He cannot throw it on his life you judge somebody. Because he fears not God. If you judge somebody, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. He can have the okay. same sin. So but if you judge him while it's rolling, coming out your, mouth, rolling out your mouth, while it's rolling out your mouth, soon as you catch what? yourself judging and accusing and being the devil you judge and weighing somebody. the devil and in your forehead, you somebody can somebody, say, that's safe. You, right right now, it's okay. you know what I'm saying? If you got if something you in your seat, twirling up, now God coming, that Adam coming, now you feeling bad enough. Cause Adam told you, shit, as soon your as whole heart, now you feel bad because you judge and accuse that woman. Yourself. You judge and accuse that boy. You can judge and accuse that girl. If you got something in your spirit, and you feel feeling bad because now you're getting scared of God because you know. And, and one day, you, you got to say, you sorry, man. And you got to say, God, forgive me. And he say, I'm sorry, you seven times. You must forgive me seven times. But if you don't say, I'm sorry, what you going to do, man? Because Jesus forgive who and what? The devil? And let him keep doing what he doing? Hell no! And he come to you. Rebuke. And he say, I'm sorry. Seven times. Cast him in all the dark. You must forgive him seven times. God repent. What? Amen, man. It's all about you bind up on earth, bind up in heaven, remember? Find out what God said when he was getting ready to tell Noah to kill us all. And no. he said, God repented. 
God. Nigga, I sit your fat ass down. Not breathing, motherfucker. You lay back. They be having your funeral like a motherfucker. Now. He told the woman at the well, if, if there's a new man, I give you water. Who was asking yeah, you for a drink of water? And guess how many husbands that woman You would ask him. That woman had five for water. And he would give you water. And once you went, what the other is? That you will never, married. ever thirsty. Didn't give it in the marriage, didn't have it. She got saved that day by Jesus. And guess how many husbands that woman had? Because that woman had five on. different husbands. She was bragging the one that she, she was told, with. He told her some stuff she didn't know. But she not her husband. She did know. And she yeah. got saved that day. You know why I know she got saved that day? Because she went to brag out Jesus that water when I give it to her. I ain't talking about water, but that drink, with the bread, and I'm for your stuff. Yeah. What? I'm talking about spirit. You know, that water, that, that, that come I bring, I'm going to no bring. Yeah, no bring. Can't nobody you come to me and ask me for no food and ain't giving me no food. And I ain't talking about water for the drink, food for the stuff. See, I'm not leaving my bread, no. I'm talking about the water and food. Jesus was talking out of the mouth of you. When they came back the second day, yeah. You gotta eat this right here coming out of my mouth. Say the food I got. You gotta eat this word of God. Stomach. He said, it's man shall not live by bread alone. But every word, bread, you gotta eat this. Out of the mouth of God. Here you become a friend. You, you gotta, gotta eat this fruit right here. And the fruit, when you eat the word of God, it's the word of God, the hidden manner, the all the, the mind God. of the, we the bread. children of God that's been on earth. Don't stop this. When you grow, you're going you to take that fruit. You're going to stomp on it and make some new wine. And you the fruit, 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 when you and walk then, up to this word, the challenge gonna start there. When you walk up to this, you gotta thing. take this one. You know what I'm saying? And put it in new skin and remix. Because you can't put God came to you first. When you can't be thirsty, God came to you first. When God so when came you to you home, you want a truck. When you when came to you want a house. When you what you say to him? When he wanted something to drink, what you say to him? When I was in prison, when I was in the hospital, did you come see me? You didn't get nothing to drink. When I came to your home. You didn't so when you come to your home, when I came you know, to you in prison, you got a new heart. And he wants you to post a new heart. He wine. said, when I was in prison, you didn't even come there. Money. Don't need no money. No so when a man no comes to your home, you know what he got. He got a new heart. He wants you to put you to post that new wine. When the world gets in right here, man. Oh, he's going to keep walking around. Oh, they got new heart. When you get this right here. Oh man, I go in the office right now and walk around when the no world laughing and joking like it's a normal day because the aura out of me is right coming here. out of me when I breathe, nigga. It's gonna be I'm healing. People getting up healed, nigga. They know all they got to do is get up healed. Feel it good. We can go to the hospital right Real, now. man. Shit, just like keep walking in the hospital, nigga. Like a normal day. Because you know what name you want to. You, you God. Please, you God coming in the hospital. You ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to pray, nigga. You ain't got to say shit. You God in the hospital. Can be healed. Because you know Cause when you in. through that, you know who name you want in the name of. You know who you in. the name of the very word of God. And you know you God.
shall be Listen saved. to me. I'm the Savior. And he shall go in and out with good. and find good pasture. Oh, he got to stay stuck in. I am the door. He comes. The enemy comes. And if he anyone is in, is in by me, but I, Jesus Christ, the Adam, the Lord Jackson, and he shall go in and out. The word of God and find good pasture. I come for the thing that you may have eternal life. All, all around us, every star, every grain of sand. The word of God. You know what I'm saying? Coming, I come. Oh, 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 don't be no Thank y'all for listening.